question is, name the two stars in the film uh, The Casablanca. Now, this Monday, this holiday Monday, RD Celtic are having a Halloween Blitz and Open Day for LMFM. Adrian Taff is there on location. A very good morning to you, Adrian. Good morning, Dara. You're welcome along to RD. Plenty of people around here this morning, as you can imagine. They have a blitz on this morning for under 8s right through to under 12s. Plenty of action here, and it's uh, ongoing. Plenty of soup and tea and sandwiches for anyone if you want to come down and have a look. There's a uh, bouncy castles here as well for the kids. Plenty to do. And also, it marks the first visit to RD of the Crystal Palace Foundation. Uh, they've recently announced a partnership with the Crystal Palace Foundation. Obviously, Crystal Palace, everybody well familiar with them, flying high in the Premiership in England uh, at the moment. And the Irish ambassador for Crystal Palace Foundation here in Ireland is a man that uh, a lot of us would know from down the years because he played for the Republic of Ireland as well as Crystal Palace, Arsenal, Manchester City and uh, probably one or two others as well. Eddie McGoldrick is here with me at the moment. And Eddie, this is your first time in RD, first time in RD as part of this partnership. What's your first impressions, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, but great, yeah, smashing set up. Lots of kids running about enjoying themselves. So looking forward to uh, creating that link. And so what exactly will that link mean for a club like RD Celtic? This is not a new partnership. You have have, uh, you have partnerships with other clubs in Ireland and other organisations. You're also involved with Balna United and Mail. You're also involved with the Active Communities Network in Belfast. So uh, w- what does this sort of partnership mean for a club? You know, the initiative is to get people, first of all, involved in sport, which is where it all started. And Jim will tell you more about that in Belfast. And then the link created with Balna and now here in RD. So to get kids, families active in sport, hopefully a bit of player development, which we've tried down in Balna now, and that's gone well. So... Yeah, the feet will be bright. I'm mean, impressed with what you've seen here in Ardy Celtic at the moment. You've been watching some of the games. You've seen some of the uh, young stars in action. Great setup, yeah. Yeah, good facilities. And, and obviously you, you've got an infrastructure in place now that will give you the potential to, uh, you know, invest and, and make it better than what it is. But yeah, good pitches. And uh, just great to see the kids running about and enjoying themselves. Yeah, another member of the partnership is the Active Communities Network in Belfast. Uh, Jim Donnelly is here. He's a representative from the Active Communities Network. Jim, tell me a little bit about the work that Active Communities Network does. Active Communities Network is an organisation that works with uh, young people from marginalised communities. We first started here in Ireland in Ballamurphy in West Belfast um, around five years ago. And then we linked them with Crystal Palace through our London office. We have offices in London, Manchester, Cape Town, um, Belfast, and we link them with um, the Crystal Palace Foundation. I think two years ago, they visited Ballamurphy. Then we've done some cross-community work in Belfast right across uh, the, the whole city. And we've now built that where we've been down in the Ballina town, and we are now developing that out, and we hope to increase that, bringing, the, bringing maybe four teams together, from two from Belfast, Ballina and RD and, and maybe do a shield with the support of the Crystal Palace Foundation. So plenty of room for the whole partnership to develop. Yeah, definitely. We, we see it as a, it, we're, we're building on what we've already done um, and we're now in the north. We work in Belfast in north, west and east and we're in Porta Down, Oma and Coleraine. Um, we've developed other partnership with other organisations and we're just we're, we're building on the work that we're doing and we see it a natural progression is common south. Uh, also here is Gary McCarthy. He's the Director of Sports Development uh, with the Crystal Palace Foundation. Gary, there's more to this than just a scouting network for Crystal Palace. This is meant to have a real impact socially in the areas that you went to. Yeah, definitely. Um, the power of the Premier League now and football in general is key engager for young people. So, you know, as far as delivering some good local football coaching, we're also possibly delivering some girls football, maybe working with uh, people with disabilities as well in the future. So it's a it's a long term partnership over three to five years. So we want to engage with all sections of the community and that's what we want to do in the future. Great. Um, it would be remiss of me not to have a chat with someone from RD Celtic seeing as we're here this afternoon. Uh, David Martin is the newly appointed Director of Underage Coaching here at RD Celtic. And David, this is a huge boost for RD Celtic and for the Midloud region, for the sport in the region. Absolutely, Adrian. It's huge for us. Um, here RD, we're trying to do things um, the right way. And guys like um, Chris Palace Foundation coming over here helping us out is just only going to do us great. Um, we're trying to improve our coaches' player development and anything we can get help on we will take and it's absolutely fantastic to get guys of this calibre over here. You can see the impact it's had straight away. There's a great buzz around here this afternoon. It's great, yeah. And as the guy said, we want just people out here playing. Um, it's not about uh, winning success. We're here to develop kids and, and get them enjoying themselves.
So that's it, Dara, from RD. Really, it's well worth people coming down here this afternoon. There's plenty to see. And if you want to bring your kid down and they want to get involved in the football, I'm sure RD Celtic will let them pull on a shirt here for the afternoon. Aside from that, there's plenty for people to do. Fancy Castle, as we said, for the children. And uh, plenty of action and plenty of excitement. Come down and get your photo taken with Eddie McGoldrick and Gary McCahey and well, Jim Donnelly as well, if you want. Um, but uh, <laughs> we'll uh, leave you with that, Dara. And as I said, everybody, come on down and enjoy yourselves here this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Adrian. Uh, humour high. And uh, let's hope the optimism is positive for that game next month. Yes, indeed. RD Salty Grounds, Town Park RD. They're having their Halloween Blitz and Open Day from now through till about 2 p.m. Keep up to date with-